Hey guys, so this is our field and we're going to go for a little walk so you can see what a normal day is. So over here are water jugs. Now, they're all going to get filled with a chemical to take care of the trees. And without a side-by-side, -side, that means carrying them. So there's 12 trees right in the middle of the field. That's not so bad. That's not too far to carry. There's a couple over here. Honestly, if I had to, I can carry those too. <laughs> now, here's where it would get really tough. And it already is really tough. Um, we walk up here and along the fence line, there are 13 trees. Okay, along this fence line. And then there's three in the middle there. And then there are 25, I believe, more trees along the fence line all the way down to the bottom that are in honor of either dogs or people. So we would have to carry water bottles to all of those. <laughs> that becomes a little bit difficult for this old lady. Right, guys? Maybe I ought to tie them onto you guys. You could drag them down for me. That would only take all day now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Hi, Cheech. How are you today? You having a good day? Are you having a good day? You are. Cheechy didn't get to go outside and play in yards for two years and now. Or Chachi. Now he runs all over the place. I call him Chichi. Can't get used to that Chachi thing. Okay, so <laughs> there's a piece of garbage that needs to go to the burn pit. So this is what I mean by not having a UTV. Uh, everything has to be carried down. That may not seem long, but that is a far walk when you're bringing home a little senior from that far corner there because they decided it would be fun to run the whole way down there and then they went, oh boy, I just can't make it back. We'll just wait for somebody to bring us, bring us back home. <laughs> Here's our burn pit. So we haven't burned because there's a burn freeze on because it's so dry out. So when we can, that'll all get burned. But that is a lot of walking from the house. Lots of times we're dragging garbage bags. That's a good, that's a good trip for us. Maybe not for a 20 year old, but we're not 20 anymore, are we? Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody, Ray. Right? Are you limping? Did you hurt your leg? Did you hurt your leg today? You better be careful. Yeah. All right. So then we go down here. Now, all this fence needs to be mulched. We're gonna start working on that on Saturday. I would love to say we're gonna get it finished, but I don't know if that'll happen. But we're certainly gonna try. So the whole fence needs to be mulched all the way around the ranch <laughs> and all the trees. And when you get over here, you can't see the creek, but the creek is down there um, where our bridge is. So what we'd like to do is clean that all up, put some really pretty flowering bushes along there to help the creek to not keep eroding because we seem to have a problem with erosion right now. It's amazing what this city girl has learned about living in the country. What are you doing, Mike? Oh, look at all those dandelions. Those little cloudy things are going to turn into lots and lots of yellow dandelions. Did you get a ball, Chachi? Would you like me to throw the ball? Would you like... No? You're not going to give it to me? Would somebody take it from you then? They probably would. You'd probably lose the ball to somebody else. Okay, so you guys are going to stay here. I'm going to... I'm going to... Whoa! I'm going to show the people... Well, if I can figure out how to get in there. Sorry about that, guys. I'm probably getting dizzy. Okay, you guys stay here. I'm just going to show them what we do, okay? And then I'll come right back to you guys. Right back. <laughs> okay. All right, so this whole part of the property are trees, too. 
I'm going to treat all of them. We're trying to keep lantern flies from overtaking us again this year. They were really, really bad last year. And they were killing our trees. So I'm hoping those aren't lantern flies that I see on there. No. Okay. So we did treat and we're going to do it again and hopefully we're going to be okay. Um, but this is the creek. And I would really like to make this look all really pretty and together, okay? Um, this is Cody's Island. Obviously, that needs worked on. That's looking pretty rough, and I don't like that. The creek's running well through here. It would appear this side's all stopped up again. Not cool. Okay, the birds are enjoying it. And I don't know if you can tell, but all those trees down below on the other side, those are ours. And we've planted a line of trees up the side where the trailers are. So at some point, you won't even see the trailers. Um, but that whole side is ours up to the white trailers. And that's probably about another two acres, and I have to mow that. So we try to keep that all nice, too. So there's a lot of work here at the ranch. I would like to get to a point where um, we could put some picnic tables out here. We could rent out this side for some picnics and things. That's probably two or three years down the road, but we're getting there and that will help with expenses. Oh, look at all the little yellow finches. I don't know if you can see them, but there's tons of them out here right now. I just love when summer gets here. Even spring is great. Okay, so if you like to do outside work and you would like to take on a portion here and make, make it look really nice, like right here, this is our rainbow garden. This is where we first um, buried some of our dogs. So I would like to redo that and have it all mulched and uh, perennials put in there so that we don't have to keep planting things. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a big piece of property. It, guys there's lots of things we'd like to see happen in the next couple years here I mean you could have reunions and things out here if we can put a pavilion in um, anything that helps to offset the cost of running the ranch for the pups would be amazing so I have to do these trees over here too and we had a tree fall down here so, I think Roxanne Strine's husband and Roxanne are going to come and cut that down for me tomorrow. And we're going to try to use some of it in the cat house, which they would love to be able to climb on. I'd like to make this into a little picnic grove. So, tomorrow is a work day at the ranch. If anybody's available to come out and help. But, you know, every day is a work day at the ranch, so... If you can't do it tomorrow, but you have some spare time and you'd like to help us out, we certainly could use it. These are trees we planted last year in memory. So all the trees come spring, like after work weekend and all the mulch is laid. Um, all the flags will go out with their photos on them, which is very cool to see. All right. Hence the reason we need to get the UTV because once walking around this property isn't so bad for a 60 year old and a 70 year old but when we have to do it multiple times a day that's a lot <laughs> are you guys following me on the other side of the fence you're so cute that is so cute i can't show you the frog pond because that is a disaster but um robert and nicole are coming and they are going to work on the frog pond so that should look cute soon too what are you doing gel yeah what are you doing you guys are so cute okay so i'm gonna walk back down here yeah back down here with my buddies you okay there aspen all right looks like i need to go mow the other side of the field again already and trim trees yeah, and trim trees. There's a lot to do. Okay, I hope that tree's not dead. 
sort of not looking good. Yeah, those trees sort of aren't looking good. It's nice that Stauffers, though, will like replace the tree if it dies within a year. So we'll give this guy a little longer. See if he's just trying to get himself planted there. It doesn't look like he's dead yet. Okay, and back up across the field we go. <laughs> you guys tell me, run, Mom! Yeah, you guys are nuts. Takes all I can do to walk this field. <coughs> Where are you doing, Aspen? Are you looking for the FedEx man? Huh? I bet you are. <sighs> Sam there is like 14 or 15. She's like hauling butt. Aren't you, Sam? Yeah. You can do it, can't you? Good job. <sighs> okay. Trees over here are coming up. There's only one I'm concerned with. This is the butterfly garden. Wendy spends a lot of time out here working on this. Uh, we still have this end to get weeded before Saturday when the mulch comes. So I'll be working on that this evening, I think. Say so we weeded the trees this afternoon, or at least a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. All right, are y'all good? Hi, Charlie. Charlie's one of our old dudes. He loves being outside, though. Don't you, Char Char? Good job, buddy. All right. So, that is the whole property that we mow and take care of. Jack, you took a long walk today for an old, old dude with a heart problem. Yeah. Want to go in the big play yard? Huh? You want to come over here with me? So... We need to get this fence and gate up. It's only a 25 foot space. We have this stuff. We just need people to build it. The holes are already in the ground. Bob Reinberger and his um, grandson did that for us. So the hard part is done from what I hear. And then all the fence panels are already here. So we just need to get that done. So this is the big play yard. This is where we will have the uh, little dogs with the cards, blind dogs, um, so that they don't get run over by Aspen and the big dudes when they're often chasing the FedEx truck, which happens multiple times a day, doesn't it, Mike? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to put the swing up while I'm videotaping, hold on. Say, hold on. What happened? Did the swing come down again? Oh. Gotta find some way to anchor the swing. So, I mean, if you're 